Okay, we got a no heat call. From the looks of this day, I believe we're gonna be doing AC calls later today. But this one came in last night with no heat. Let's go see if we can help them. Let's carry your gas pack here. Sounds like they got it on now. When these draft is running, or maybe it's hit a high limit or something, let's open it up. So we got six flashes. Pressure switch fault. Ain't gonna be long enough to go on it. Let's go get a piece. Alright, as you can see, this little old short piece of hose here won't gonna be able to do anything with it. So I went and got this longer piece and I put it on there, and I'm gonna just draw on this lightly with my mouth and see if. Closing the switch will make it fire up. And it sure does. So, now, proper way to test these things actually is to hook a manometer to that port right there and see what it's pulling. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this blower motor down and I'm going to stick something in that hole and see if that port is clogged. This is not one of the worst types for doing that. But it could very well be the, the only issue. Now you don't want to stick a piece of wire up in there with it running bend it over and then you'll never get it out. Okay, so let's pull the L2, the little power wire comes from this motor off the board and that stops it. And instead of a piece of wire today, I'm gonna take, looks like this second one will be good size. I'm gonna take a uh, Allen wrench here and poke it in there see it hasn't stopped yet so let's stop it with our finger okay and let's poke this in there and see if that port is clogged now that one is too big so let's get a smaller one A little bit of something on it where I'm hitting the all right this is the smallest one we've got we may have to get a piece of wire yeah you see how tough that was to push through and all that garbage on it that was going to be our problem right there You can see all the crap on the end of it there. Now, without having to go through the trouble of hooking a manometer up and testing this thing, the high-tech, geeked-out way, we're just doing a backyard repair here. So let's hook this back up. And let's 
see if it pulls the switch in, and it did. This thing is fixed. Now, I'm going to explain to the customer what I did to get the unit back operational. I'm going to ask them if they want anything else done. And for all you guys that say, well, I would have did this, I would have did that, I would have did this. Um, I do what the customer wants and I do what I'm going to get paid for. Yes, I suggest that we service the unit, uh, heat and air. But one thing, look how nasty it is. Uh, really don't know what the gas pressures are. Is it burning as efficiently as it could be? It really needs cleaning out in there. Um, the coil could use to be cleaned. This whole thing is is dirty and take readings on everything, but I'm only going to do what I'm getting paid for. So you, you techs that are out there saying, well, he didn't do this, he didn't do that. Obviously, you've never owned a business and uh, I'm going to do what the customer wants. So if they want any further servicing done, we'll get some film on that. But for right now, the heat is repaired. And that's all it was. It's a clogged pressure switch port, whatever the factory calls it. It's just, it draws vacuum. So to me, that's a vacuum switch, but they call it a pressure switch. It's a vacuum pressure switch, whatever you want to call it. You just don't get hung up on all that. It is repaired and it is working and that's all that was wrong with the heat. Now, it's a little dirty and needs to be serviced, but I'm gonna leave 